Yo guys, so today I'll be doing a review on the Sonic the Hedgehog GE 14 inch Sonic plush. So before I get into the review, I just want to mention that I got this plush sometime last year, but I moved and stuff earlier this um earlier this year, like late last year. So I used to be at never was able to really record reviews and stuff like that. So nowadays I can like record these videos and stuff. But basically he's a nice plush. You know, I got him off Amazon, like uh, most of my other Sonic plushies. Here's his tag. Okay, it's just basic. This is like the order three uh print tag. Yeah, basic information about GD animation. Not the age of 15 years and under, which is kind of weird how they put that on here nowadays because years ago used to be not for ages six years and under but I guess now because so many parents nowadays might say to their kids or teenagers that Sonic is for little kids but like these plushies aim to collect like kids can collect them teenagers adults and Sonic is pretty much for everyone so anyways let's get on with you so just a little comparison comparing to my blender it's like 17 inches, he's 14 inches. He's got a string on top of his head, from a hand in the jam, you know. He's got a smile, he's got his eyes, it's like he's got his gloves, and there's his tag, his tag, production date was um, February 2021. Um, he's got his sneakers, obviously. He got all his quills and stuff like that. I mean, like, this is a nice plush, honestly. I mean, I have other. Modern Sonic, the newer, um, 10 9 or 10 inch one, but I like to refer to this guy as the big boy, honestly, but he's a nice representation of, uh, Modern Sonic, though I do notice, like, on camera, in real life, it's kind of an apricot color, but, like, on in the camera, it kind of comes off, his muzzle and stomach and arms come off, like, as a yellow, I don't know if y'all can see that, like, a yellow light -like color, but he's got his nose, stuff a little bit of stitching something on there i don't know what's going on there but anyways it's a really good plush i mean i would recommend it to anybody you know i'd give it a i'd give it a 10 out of 10 i mean hey you know what i'm saying ge animation makes good uh sonic uh products and plushies and stuff like that of that nature especially that when you can put them in poses like this or have Sonic be like this, you know, their plushies are really like posable and high quality looking, so yeah. But if you are to get him, I would say he's probably gonna be, given that he's 14 inches, he's probably gonna be anywhere from 28 to maybe 30 something dollars. When I got him, he was like 19 something, cause I think there was a deal that Amazon was running on him at the time. But if you get him now, if not for the Labor Day weekend sales that have already passed, he's gonna probably be 30 bucks. And their plushies are kinda expensive, but I mean, for the quality you're getting from these plushies, it's uh, it's pretty good, you know? So you should definitely go buy one, you know? So, yeah. Um, I'm looking to get some more characters later this week, like maybe Classic Tales or Classic Amy Rose or I know that GE Animation restocked on Jet the Hawk, and that's a character that we have not got since, like, the year 2016. I want to say really 2015, but he's a rare character, mm -hmm. but he's back in stock now. So maybe in the next week or so, I'll go look into getting him, and maybe I'll get Wave off of Amazon. I have to just see, you know what I'm saying? But later this week, I'm going to do a review on my Supersonic plush that... I have and go into detail on that and I'm gonna make some other reviews going forward and stuff like that so we can keep so I can keep content on this channel and keep this channel growing and stuff like that so yeah that is pretty much it for the review I hope you guys all enjoyed it and stuff of that nature don't forget to like it subscribe and bye